So there's a um, there's a beautiful uh, story told in connection with Parsha Hazinu, a very well known, pretty uh, powerful story with um, with Nachmanides, the Ramban, who had a very uh, a very famous uh, student of Avner, actually known as Reb Avner, and uh, many year year later, unfortunately, he left uh, Torah, he left Judaism, and he became very successful as a very big minister in his country, in uh, I believe in Spain, and Avner, Reb Avner, wanted to show his hate his disdain for, for Judaism, for Torah, and he sent uh, messengers to, um, to the Ramban on the holiest day of the year, on Yom Kippur, that they should bring him on Yom Kippur, and in front of him he, uh, he, he killed a, uh, a chazir, a pig, he cooked it in front of him, and he actually ate it right in front of his, uh, his old teacher, the Ramban. And the Ramban, of course, was very, very pained. And he asked him, what, what he, he actually, Avner asked his teacher, how many transgressions have I committed by doing what I just did? And he said, about four. And the Ramban, the Ramban said, no, uh, sorry, Rabbi Avner said, no, I committed actually five transgressions. He was, he was brilliant. And he, and he, he, uh, he was paying, of course, uh, the Ramban. He asked him, what happened that you turned away from Torah? And he said, once, uh, it was because of your lesson, a lesson that I heard from you in class. One time you spoke in our parsha of Hazinu, and you spoke that you said that everything in the world, everything in, in uh, humanity, everything in your life is hinted, is spelled out in our parsha of Hazinu. Chon, chon. Your name, right. And he said, I, I couldn't believe that. It's impossible that everything in such a tiny portion of Hazinu, that my, my life story should be spelled out there, it can't be. And it, it can't be true. And if that's the case, and everything, everything uh, that you say is not true. And I left Torah. And the Ramban heard this, and he said, I still hold by, by, by that uh, today, that everything, including your own uh, name, and life story is hinted in Hazinu. And he, he asked it for a few seconds. He went to the corner, and he prayed to God for inspiration. Uh, for, for some something, and uh, and he came back to him and he said, "Yes, I found uh, I found you have your name. If you look at the uh, uh, chapter thirty two, uh, verse uh, twenty six, it mentions your name. It says, Amarti Afehem Ashbisa Me'enosh Zichram that I will God says, I, uh, I will um, I said that I will do, uh, I will eradicate and destroy any memory of you of your, any memory of yours from humanity. If you take the third letter, exactly the middle letter, the, letter, the third letter of every, single, uh, of every single word, you get your name, you get Reb Avner. And he was, he was astounded, he was, he was shocked, uh, Avner, and he, uh, he realized that, uh, that he, wants to, he wants to come back to, 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 to Judaism, and he felt terrible. And he asked his Rebbe, Ramban, what, what should I do? How, how can I correct my situation? And the Ramban said, do exactly uh, what it says in, in the verse. Ashbisa menosh zichram. Uh, b- disappear basically, and he, the Ramban went. The Ramban went on his way, and the and Rabbanir took a boat. He took a he boarded a ship. He basically boarded a ship without any captain, and he let it go wherever the wind uh, took it, and he uh, he disappeared. Uh, and it, apparently he passed away. Um, he passed away, and he obviously did a he did a full hearted, complete teshuva, an, an amazing story. But the story uh, says Lodav Chirebe that when he was a kid in Cheder, he 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 was taught this story, and he learned a tremendous lesson. He says the name of the part of, of Avner is not called Avner. How is he called? He's called Reb Avner, like Reb Reb Meyer, Reb, Reb Mendel, almost like a rabbi. He should be called the simple uh, name of Avner. He was a, he was a wicked, uh, terrible uh, person. But here the Torah teaches us the unbelievable power of teshuva. That when a Jew does teshuva wholeheartedly in in a, in a sincere way, Torah doesn't just call him. Uh, by his name, he calls him Reb, Reb Avner, Rabbi Av, Reb, Reb Avner. No matter how, how far a person can, can, can go, can sink, that this is the power of Teshuvah that Torah teaches us Hazinu, that he always can come back, and he's not just called uh, by a regular name, but he's called Reb Avner to show him that he's an honorable and respected person, but we all do Teshuvah, like Reb Avner, and of course have a, have a Shabbat Shalom and a good Yom Tiv. And we should all uh, approach and uh, ask every, every, every one of our, of our Jewish friends to sit in a sukkah and, of course, make a blessing of love and a trog. And Hashem definitely will, will give us a wonderful and a sweet year. Amen. Amen.